Hey guys, today I'll be showing you guys how we can use a matte video like this and turn it to something like this. Alright, let's begin. I'm going to be using this video of a Brazilian flag here. You can use anything else, just make sure there's a luma matte like this one here. You can find this by going over to your favorite stock video sites and look for Luma Matte. Pick those ones that contain a Luma Matte, but not the green screen ones. Now let's drag our flag video and background into our project. Now make a composition using the flag video and scrub over to where the video ends, but before the mat begins. And Ctrl D to duplicate the video. Trim the end of the video by holding down Alt, then end bracket. Do the same on the mat video by holding down Alt, then start bracket to trim for the start. Now drag the background layer and place it at the bottom. Just a side note, the matte layer should be on top. Now let's drag the matte video to the start and align it to the original video. The timing might not sync at times, so you'll need to make some adjustments by dragging it to place. Now look to the bottom of the window and click toggle switches to bring the matte controls out, or hit the F4 button on your keyboard to bring it out. Click on the drop down menu and select Luma Matte, and there you go. If it syncs correctly, your flag should play seamlessly on your background. I'm just going to parent this and scale it down. You're going to sometimes encounter problems with the edges of a mat, like these ones here. To fix it, select the two videos, hold Shift, Control, and hit C to pre-compose it. Look to the effects window and type matte choker and drag it to the precom. This looks fine on its own, but you might need to play around with the settings a little more when it comes to something more complicated like this. Do the same thing as what we did for the first one. Alright, let's see what we can do to fix it. Try to play around with the settings to try and avoid the excessive trimming. Okay, that looks good enough. Now I'm going to show you how you can achieve that semi-translucent look, should you ever need it. I'm going to be using this lower third as an example. First, turn on the visibility of the matte layer and select it. We're going to apply the exposure color correction on it. Now, the idea behind it is, the closer the matte is to black, the more transparent it becomes. Now to turn the visibility back off, and there you go! As you can see, just by changing the exposure, the transparency of the video changes. Besides luma matting, there are other matte tracking methods as well. I'll be going through each option, simply to give you an idea on how you can make use of them. We're going to first look at how luma inverted matte works. First off, we're going to turn the visibility of the background layer on. Then, click the drop down menu and select luma inverted matte. As you can see, the matte is reversed, showing the background instead of the intended video. Now for the alpha matte. Start out by creating a shape layer and start by pulling a shape. We're just going to pull a star shape for this. 
drag the layer into position and make sure alpha mat is selected. Turn the visibility off and you should get something like this. And if you inverted it, you should get something interesting like that. Alright, hope that helps. Thanks for tuning in and I'll be seeing you next time.